what I did. Sarata is an advocacy film about uh, cervical cancer. When I first saw the script, I, I fell in love uh, with the story immediately. And after some, some surgery uh, on the script, I mean, that's what every director does, um, I decided to, uh, you know, take on the project. Uh, I, got a, I got a call. Actually, I got a Facebook a uh, friend request from Vivi and Chris. Uh, I think she, has, she, she saw my, my first film, The Hand of Fate, and she wanted to do something in the Gambia, you know, as a, an upcoming actress doing very well in the UK. So she emailed me and said, yeah, yo, I have this uh, story, can we work on it? I'm like, what is the story all about? And she, she went around things about A, B, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, nah, I don't do films like that. So. She sent like two, three stories, and I'm like, nah. When she sent Sarata, uh, I saw it, I'm like, yeah, I think this is a project. The director, he is very determined. Um, I spoke to him about a year ago regarding the projects I had in the Gambia. I came up with one, two, three, till the fourth story, which was Sarata. And I had a long conversation with him on the phone. Mm -hmm. Eventually, what is it, Jakar Lockman? Wow, this is Sarata. All the way from uh, UK. <laughs> She's been doing extremely well, so you guys have to watch out for the film. Well, Philip is actually, he is a, a business consultant that he sleeps, not married, sleeps around with different women. So, but besides, besides his work, he is very serious with his work. Because when it comes to business, it's been about out of his business too. He like, he like partying, going out, meeting different friends all the time. So that was the kind of person I was in the movie. Well, when I read this script for Sarata and I, um, I am told that I'm supposed to be playing Astu, it fascinates me because I am thinking I've just been branded as this person that plays only very bad, bad roles in film. My name is Lamin Tamba and I'm Abdu in Sarata, Sarata's boyfriend. Born and bred in the village, grew up in the village, had um, a fantastic time there. Always loved one person and one person only, and that is Sarata. My name is Ida Bidwell, um, but I play the role of Ida in the movie. Ida is uh, one of the girls um, that has to groom, and what we do is just to go out and have fun, um, but sleep with men to get money. But um, this is a movie that I, I, just, I just adore so much because it's my first experience um, in the movie industry. And um, I would say this has taught me a whole lot and I've learned a lot from this movie. And I'm thanking Ibrahim Sisse, the director, for giving me this opportunity to be part of Sarata. I'm Vivi Chris, playing Sarata, a young, beautiful, well brought up village girl in love with a young man, Abdul. She's always been conscious to 
get married before she engages in sex. But with the unpredictable situations of life as an orphan, she moves to the village for a better lifestyle. Well, my, my character is called Nima and um, she is a call girl or let's say a hooker who, um, who welcomes Sarata from the village. I mean, and they both, they all fall into this life that they sell their body for money and they deal with different kind of men. Jolin has been a has been a gymnastic uh, from the pre-production to the production, and uh, you know I am still working with an amazing crew. So the theme uh, is not like any other normal, you know, uh, village girl move to the city kind of uh, a theme because what. We try to do was to explore further why do young people or young girls, you know, uh, you know, sell themselves. What are some of the reasons? What are some of the push and pull factor? Uh, and also, when she finally, you know, uh, got cervical cancer, how she managed to fight, you know, that spirit of resistance, and how Abdul came to support her. Not to be by her side, and uh, you would also realize that Ab Abdul also, you know, comes from a shattered home, and this happens a lot. Of, a lot of times, this happens in our families where most of us are single parents. You know, uh, we grew up in a single parent home. Uh, you also realize that uh, you know Aida and Nima are just you know young achievers. They are young people that want to make you know want to achieve things for themselves, and you have this very ambitious, authoritative lady. As to that kind of organizes everything, you know, she's the biggest pimp. <laughs> she kind of puts the girls in place and get them going. And at the end of the day, all the profits they make comes to her. And this is exploitation. Uh, we have cases of this every time uh, in Africa, where uh, you have these wealthy women that exploit and abuse these ladies sexually by selling them out. The movie Sarata, it's 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 so touching and it's real. It's something that's really happening. Like for instance, apart from even the illness, like this, the the cancer disease that we're trying to portray so that people can know that this is real, it's real and people shouldn't be taking it for granted. But also young people like myself, you know, just following the life, dressing, all we do is party, you know, going after men just because of money and all of this. Um. The director is a perfectionist. When I mean he's a perfectionist, trust me, he is. He makes sure he works on your mood, on your tone, you maintain your character. It got to a stage where I was in the village and I was just totally a village girl. <laughs> and someone just got to a stage where he goes, I'm afraid when you get back to the city life, you won't be able to adapt to the city. So playing Abdul was absolutely pleasant. It was like second nature. I enjoyed it. Sarata itself as a film, it's an amazing film and I was happy to be part of it. The reason I got involved in it is because of my best friend, Vivi, who is Sarata obviously. Um, I read the storyline, it was fantastic, I wanted to be part of it. I got in contact with the director, saw his former work and it's absolutely magical. Ibrahim Sise, the director, he's a great guy to work with. I mean, it's completely different from what I'm used to. And that, that gives you a different perspective of your character because he puts you in the mood, whether you like it or not. Bag of rice, he likes to use that term. <laughs> so yes, he's a great guy to work with. I mean, he has some times when he really gets on my nerves, I'm not gonna lie. 
but all in all he's an amazing guy to work with and he deserves all that comes his way because he, he's a perfectionist period that's all you can say so perfectionists can get on your nerves but at the end of the day you both be happy the director is um, a young Gambian um, chap called Ibrahim Sisse this is the first production I'm doing for him. I've actually worked with him before when we did Mirror Boy. Um, uh, Ibrahim was on set. Basically, he was one of the people that put Mirror Boy together. Um, so when he called upon me to do Sarata, I had no hesitation because I have seen him work and I know he can deliver and he has a vision and that vision, if he brings it to Sarata, I know Sarata is going to be a very, very unique film. I urge all Gambians to support the Sarata movie production and so we could all pave way for the movie industry, create a platform for the Gambia industry. Everyone should watch out for Sarata. Watch out for Sarata. It's gonna be a hit movie in the Cambia, the biggest ever in the Cambia. Hopefully, everyone that is looking out for this film, I would advise you that it's something that you're going to see that you probably haven't seen in a long, 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 long time. The storyline is good. It will inform the public, general society, or all communities in the Gambia, possibly the whole of West Africa, Europe, United States, and maybe we'll hit all the four corners of the world. All right, Gambia. All right, the whole world, not just Gambia, but everybody, like, seriously, watch out for Sarah, because if this movie gets out, it's going to be the bomb. This is my second film, uh, and uh, hopefully we, you know, we hope that this is going to be a hit. Uh, it has been a, a very tedious journey. Filmmaking in Africa is a gymnastic. I always say that film is, uh, is a marriage between creativity and technology. And you know, with the limited resources and the limited equipment we have, we still manage to tell a story. I think that's what is important. Yeah, so that's about that is all about it. I'm a director, I don't talk too much. I just put my, my words into action. So stand by, roll camera, sound recording, action. and action. Sarata, oh Sarata, oh Sarata, one in my Sarata.